Proud Scouts, welcome back to the garden. I'm Allison and this is Maisie. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite things to drink, tea. We'll be making this tea out of things that have grown in our garden this summer. Let's dig in. A few episodes ago, we learned about watering our plants. Why do we have to water our plants? Well, they need water to live, right? Totally, and we do too. Did you know that your body is made up of almost 60% water? You can drink your water, but you can also eat your water. Fruits and vegetables contain lots of water. If you see a plant or a vegetable that's looking super wilty and droopy, it probably needs some water too. Oh. I see what you mean. This cucumber doesn't look happy at all. While people are made up of 60% water, cucumbers are made up of 95% water. When they're growing, they need to drink a lot of water. Just like plants, we need to drink water every day to stay healthy. This morning, we're going to be putting some garden herbs into our water to make it a little more flavorful. Herbs can also have medicinal properties. They can help us soothe headaches, sore throats, or belly aches. Today, we're going to be infusing herbs in water called tea. We're gonna be making some iced tea today to help us stay cool. Also, let me know if you've seen Maisie anywhere. I have no idea where she's gone. Herbs are really aromatic which means they smell good in your garden. Next time you're in your garden, go out and explore. Give some things a sniff. Remember, you should only be harvesting herbs if you know their name. There are plenty of plants in the garden that can make us sick if we eat them. Today, we are going to be making lemon balm tea. Lemon balm is considered to be a calming herb. It has been used as far back as the Middle Ages to boost the immune system, soothe headaches, and even relieve flatulence. Before we harvest or work with food, it's time to wash our hands. Wet your hands with soap and water. Make sure you wash every surface of your hands, the fronts and the backs, and in between your fingers. Don't forget about your thumbs and wrists. You should be washing your hands for the amount of time it takes to sing the happy birthday song twice. Dry your hands with a clean and dry towel. These are the supplies you'll need for today's activity. Choose any herbs you'd like to try and you know are safe to eat. Scissors. A coffee filter some twine or string, and a mug or a cup to drink your tea in. You could also add some sliced up veggies or fruit. For this, you'll need a cutting board and a knife. Adult supervision is needed. We'll start by taking five to 10 leaves off of a lemon balm plant. Start with a coffee filter. Put your herbs in the middle and then cut a piece of twine or string. You'll gather the edges of the coffee filter together and then tie it in the middle with the twine to make your own tea bag. Put it into a heat safe jar or container and start some water a boiling. Pour the hot water on top of the tea bag into your mug or cup and wait at least two minutes for it to steep. While you're waiting, you can chop up some fruits or veggies. I'm gonna chop up a cucumber. Remember, using a knife requires adult supervision. If you'd like to learn more about knife safety and how to chop things up, you can check out some of our previous videos. I'm going to put my tea into a bigger container so that I can put some ice cubes in it to cool it down on such a hot day. I'm also going to add the cucumber slices I chopped up. And there you go. 
Now that you've got your ice cold glass of tea in front of you, let's take a moment and do a toast. A toast to the rain and to the sun and to all of the hard work that brought us here. Without our garden, we wouldn't have this amazing glass of tea. Mm, that tastes really good. Cheers, Maisie. Yum. It's time to write things down in our Sprout Scouts journal. Using a lemon balm leaf and a crayon with some of the paper removed, you can make a leaf rubbing. This will help you remember what the herb looked like that you used to make your tea. Using long, broad strokes, it will leave an impression of exactly what the leaf looked like. Draw a picture of how you drank your tea today, whether it was hot or cold, what type of herb you used. This will help you remember how you made it and you can share it with others in the future. Make sure you write down its name. If you'd like some additional journal prompts, go ahead and pause this video and write some of these down in your Sprout Scouts journal. Thank you so much for joining us today. We just finished our third adventure. Woo! We've been super busy. We weeded, we watered, we helped beneficial insects, and we saved seeds for the next season. Join us in our next adventure where we reap the rewards of our garden in a harvest party. See you there. It's iced tea. It's just in a mug. It's in a mug, okay? Reduce, reuse. That's right. Confuse. <laughs> <laughs>